With you, I can be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly up through the dreams where the skies are so clear. With you, I wanna stay with you. With you. to fall in love so you meet this guy you like him and you're the first to fall in love would you tell him and would you keep it to yourself <laughs> Hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is alinda jovia if it's your first time to be on this channel you are on unlock the vault with Edja camilla where i get to bring up topics and we discuss them just expound on them talk about them in a way that normally people wouldn't talk about them blast that vault wide open so that's the whole point of this video which is whichever field to explore and have fun talking about them sometimes i have guests other times you'll be seeing me by myself you know with my oh these <laughs> salute to all your girls who we'll actually do this and keep it on your hands like for the entire i don't even know how long salute i can't handle <laughs> i did them for fun i wanted to just you know i don't know i don't know why i did them i just i have them oh also look at this So how did I epically fail at making the snot bomb eye shadow thingy? Yeah, I played around with my makeup and I did this. So I don't know what if it looks good or not, but I feel good. I think so. So, yep. If you're not feeling that, <laughs> up to you. Okay. <laughs> But please do tell me in the comment section below if you think I look good, you know, after all that effort. I took 30 minutes to make this makeup just to come and look like this for you guys. <laughs> okay, so we're going on with the topic. The topic on ground, the vault unlock today is what would you do if you were the first to fall in love? I can tell you guys it has happened to me I have been in love before and when you talk to this person when you're like um, doing things together or I don't know on phone you feel like he almost is your soulmate I've been there and I can tell you for a fact well I didn't have to do it because <laughs> he did it first but I was just an inch away from telling him exactly how I felt yeah some people think I'm sorry is the hardest three words to say to someone but yo admitting love to somebody that ain't easy yo that ain't easy but it, it's a perfect thing so most people have this um, feeling whereby they think if you tell if you're a girl for example and you like this guy and you go to him and tell him first how you feel it would make you feel bad or whatever it is that is honestly understandable and i can tell you for a fact that um some people have been through these kind of things some of them i know and um yeah it's sort of embarrassing and discouraging when you fall in love fast and then you tell the guy that you're in love with him and he's not feeling the same way for you so you're stuck but listen
listen, I think it's okay. I think it's really fine. It's like, um, you know, if you went out with your friends, okay, and someone approached you and is like, I want to buy you a drink, and you said, oh no, I'm okay. That's okay, I'm good. You're not going to see that similarity in there until I explain, but no. <laughs> I really feel it should be as easy as that. One, it's really understandable. You could fall in love with someone. The reasons why we fall in love with people are completely independent. For every single person, you have different reasons why you fall in love with people. Some of them, they fall in love with people because um, these guys give them what they want, like to, you know, running about everywhere, doing whatever other people the total opposite is what makes them fall in love with these people the fact that they can chill stay at home cuddle do all those kinds of things you know my point being we have different reasons why we fall in love with people so if you fell in love with someone for the first time and it's you're the first to fall in love there's nothing wrong with you expressing how you feel to this person and taking what comes the way it comes because if you kept quiet and this person started seeing another person, that would hurt you more. Right? Oh. So, if you're the first to fall in love, please do tell the person how you feel. If I'm wrong, you can tell me in the comment section below. <laughs> but I will tell you one story. So, um, in high school, um, if you uh, if you're from Uganda and you know Western Uganda, then you probably know a school called Chebambe Girls, which is where I went to. Very proud star of Chebambe, <laughs> a very nice girls' school in uh, Fort Porto. Yeah, so I was that side, and we had this boys' school called Slake St. Leo's College. Mm. Now Chebzas and Slakers please oh i wish i could start that argument <laughs> anyway that's i'm thinking about another thing but it's not related to what i wanted to say so yeah when we were in that place we used to have these so-called um drama shows whereby you go to the boys school you do your show from there and then you come back to the girls school and some of the times the boys come to your school, they do the same thing. So we used to have those ex um, excuses of clubs. If it's not drama, it is, um, what is that thing called? Uh, interact. If it's not interact, it is um, uh, world life. Oh, there were plenty. Debate. Ooh, baby. You are reminding me of debate. Man, I need to do that. I need to do that. I need to do balloon debate again. This was one nice event we used to have in high school whereby you'd pretend to be celebrities and then you'd have like some sort of, you know how they do these Oscars and stuff like that, but then it's not the same as Oscars. However, what you do is you pretend to be celebrities and then you have like a presenter who invites you and asks you questions and then asks you to dance for the people. It's just a fun activity for people to just enjoy themselves. So we used to have those activities, um, actual debate, you know, and boys would interact with girls. Now, the point is, I saw a typical um, expression, if I can say, of the situation where you're the first to fall in love. First of all, the boys, oh man, it's like us. Y'all were really hard on us, huh? You were hard on us. So the boys would like make you, of course, you know, the way the boy is and the swag they come with to the stage and whatever is what makes girls fall for the guy, usually. And his smartness, his speech, everything. Of course, normal, normal human stuff. But, <laughs> sounds inhuman. Yeah, but normal human stuff that makes people like other people. And the boys knew this, so... They used to make sure that they look that, you know, hot, nice, cute, whatever, so that they put us on tension. And then you find like five girls falling for the same guy. It's like us. Anyway, people were bold. They went ahead and said out, like straight, they'd come to you and be like, hey dude, I like you. 
do you like me back can we be together you know there were very many bold girls that would do that you know so if it was done as early as that time young as we were which now makes me feel like i was oh my god dear god no early experience please <laughs> okay yeah we were a bit crazy but yeah the fact that it was happening that time and it was okay if someone didn't like you well it takes you a while to get over the fact that they don't like you the way you like them but then you do you get over it and then once you get over it you move on you find something else the point is you've told him he knows how you feel if he's not in the feelings that's okay then it wasn't meant to be and if the person comes back at a later point well and good if they find someone else at least you tried the problem is you not telling how you feel about someone keeping it to yourself waiting for them to be the first to say it and then you lose your chance <laughs> you don't want to do that so go ahead tell him you like him tell him you've fallen in love with him let him deal with it but be polite and nice y'all when someone is that bold to come to you and tell you such a thing you need to be polite about it <laughs> no bullying this is the 21st century y'all we even i think by now we're getting into the 22nd century me i'm promoting myself point being it's about time whereby things should be normal and natural not that old time whereby parents were doing these things for us no it was parents doing it for us, you know, and then it became men being the ones to do it. And now it is both areas. Whoever falls in love first, say out your feelings. Just be honest. Thank me later. And I can do, I can actually make a nice, weird therapist to tell you all those things. All right, guys anyway so this one was meant to be a short um video to just introduce um you know the, the other part of me that i'll keep throwing in the videos you know because like i said unlock the vault is about um you know talking about topics and learning from them as we two are different places and all those things so once in a while, you'll be getting in a little bit of, you know, spice up topics to just enjoy ourselves once in a while, not be too serious. Sip on a drink and be nice together, y'all. Cheers. On that note, see you guys another time in another video. Please do subscribe, like the video, comment, and I hope you enjoyed. And I hope it gives you the confidence whoever is out there to just say your truth. Deal with it however it comes. <laughs> All right, bye. Stay with you. With you. I love the way that you. And you're the first to fall in love. And you've got to say the words. And you've got to tell him. When the things you've done or did to show him Don't tell the words the way they're meant to be You're the first to fall in love mm. Words don't come out easy Some people say it's I'm sorry but I believe it's I love you. Okay. I'm not giving you too much of that. <laughs> it's uh, an upcoming song from yours truly. So look out for it. I'm starting to market myself as a musician. Baby. Do you go? To do that. <laughs> it's been so cold Since you have been gone Like I was